Hey guys, this is Phone Arena. Can your phone's camera do this? Okay, all jokes aside, the Galaxy S8 Plus, which I have right here, has a really good camera, and not only for the special effects that were built in. But there's a more important question to be answered. Is its camera better than what other high-end phones have to offer? Well, let's find out. For this camera comparison, we have the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus running against the iPhone 7 Plus and the LG G6. And we're also throwing in the Galaxy S7 Edge from last year. We are now going to look at some actual photos, but keep in mind that if you want to see them in full resolution, in their best quality, you'll have to go to phonearena.com and view the full camera comparison article. Ok, now on to the photos. Here we can see that all four images look fine, but the one from the iPhone is kind of sticking out, maybe not in the best way. There's a bit too much contrast here, so the image doesn't look exactly natural. The LG G6 has also done an ok job, but if you take a look at the trees, they look pale in comparison. The two galaxies deliver vivid and well-balanced images, so we're giving them the highest score. In this next scene, it's kind of hard to pick a favorite, all four images look pretty great. But we are leaning towards the photos out of the two galaxies, mostly because we like the color of the sky in them. The iPhone has made the sky look a bit greyish blue, not really the best kind of blue, while in the photo from the G6 it looks a bit too saturated. Ok, next photo. In this round I'd say that the LG G6 and the iPhone 7 Plus have the upper hand. Do you see how their photos have warmer colors? Well, I took these photos right before sunset, so that's pretty close to how things looked in real life. Of course, the two galaxies also did a pretty good job here. Their photos are also nice and detailed, and I don't have much to complain about. Now, just for reference, I'm going to show you a photo out of the secondary camera of the iPhone with 2x optical zoom, which I would say looks really great. And this is what a wide-angle photo out of the LG G6 looks like. We are not scoring these phones based on their secondary cameras, but I still wanted to show you what they are capable of. So, moving along, I took these photos early in the morning before work. Again, all four images are very detailed, but the iPhone and the G6 deliver better colors. They are noticeably warmer, and that's how things tend to look like after sunrise. The yellow flowers look kind of greenish in the photos from the two galaxies. And here we are already at the office. The light here isn't exactly great, which is why I was happy to see how much detail all four phones managed to capture, especially the G6. But when it comes to colors, I would say that the two galaxies captured them a bit more accurately and more naturally. The iPhone, in contrast, produced a photo that's noticeably warmer than it should be. I went out for a cup of hot chocolate in the evening and took this set of photos. Detail here is great overall and I cannot complain about that, but colors could have been better. I must mention that the bar where I was had these very warm incandescent retro style light bulbs and to me the colors from the iPhone look more realistic. The two galaxies also did an ok job, but the LG G6 didn't quite manage to balance the colors correctly. Up until this point, the Galaxy S8 Plus and the Galaxy S7 Edge performed equally well. We have hardly seen any improvement in image quality from the new model. But this set of photos shows that the S8 Plus is indeed better, at least in some situations. Here, if we take a closer look, we would see more detail compared to what we have in the photo from the S7 Edge. The difference is even more evident when we compare the S8 Plus against the iPhone and the G6. But apparently, the Galaxy S8 Plus does not perform better in every low-light situation. Here, for example, I cannot see much of a difference between its image and the one from the S7 Edge. But still, the S8 Plus does a much better job than the iPhone and the LG G6, both of which have produced details that are not as clear. But overall, if you do not zoom in too much, all four images look quite nice. And here we have a view of the city at sunset. All images look pleasing, but the iPhone captured the naturally warm color tone a bit better, especially when it comes to the shades of orange in the sky. That aside, if I want to zoom in, I can explore the city from up close no matter which one of the four phones I choose. There's a lot of detail in all four images. 
So that is what the final score looks like. I would say that all four cameras performed really well throughout the comparison, and I'm not surprised to see them score so closely. Yes, the Galaxy S8 Plus came up on top, but it appears to be only slightly better than its competitors. All in all, I would say that it doesn't matter which one of these four phones you pick. In any case, you will end up with great photos. One slight disappointment, I was hoping for the Galaxy S8 Plus to clearly show some improvement in image quality, but it appears to be just as good as the S7 Edge in 9 out of 10 situations. But that's ok, the Galaxy S7 already had a great camera and it's good to see that the Galaxy S8 Plus does not disappoint either. And that's pretty much it guys, again you can go to phonearena.com to see all these images in full resolution and to catch up on all our latest Galaxy S8 content. And do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to never miss a video.